hi everybody. Hickok 45 here. We're uh, doing Vlog 14 and also thanking everybody because we reached uh, 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I guess it was uh, this morning sometime. So uh, certainly appreciate that. We're also, I hate to tell you the truth, but this is the real backyard. Yeah, I think most of you figured that out. And I think I came clean on that in D-Log 14. Uh, nah, we don't have the Cumberland River in our backyard. We don't have Fort Donaldson, all those cool cannons and everything. Uh, this is the backyard. And we have a, a alternate campsite here where we cook out, uh, as we're gonna do here in a little bit. Just getting the fire going. But uh, this is the real backyard in, in the woods back here behind the house. I'm looking at the deck and everything. For real this time. But uh, we did reach 20,000 subscribers, uh, victims, uh, people who cannot resist coming back and seeing gunfire. And we uh, certainly appreciate that. And it's kind of a milestone, I guess, to reach 20,000. And if we don't burn the woods down, we'll be back for more videos here. It's, uh, climbing up there pretty well. Uh, but anyway, that's a testament really to 20,000 uh, subscribers and all the views we get every day. It's really a testament to you all, the, the quality of the channel, I think. Uh, as I've said before, uh, it's it goes very well. There's very, very little uh, craziness, very few trolls, really, just the occasional one that comes through. There's always going to be people who don't have a life, you know, and looking for trouble. But but uh, really, the conversations that take place on, on all the videos, uh, they're kind of like mini blogs, you know, really. There's like 200 plus blogs going. And I try to keep up with it as best I can and get around, but uh, it's just really quality conversations, mostly quality comments, good questions. I get uh, a lot of them answered. Sometimes I don't. Don't feel bad if I don't get to your to your question. You know, remember, you need to send them to me in a private message anyway. Not because it necessarily needs to be private. It's just easier to manage that way for me. Uh, sounds secretive, doesn't it? I just, but I do prefer that you just send it to me in a message if you have a, a, a good question. And because uh, I go through those methodically, I don't always get around to all the videos. So, uh, but it is uh, really good discussions on those videos for the most part, I mean 99% of the time. And again, that's the testament to, to the viewers. It's a testament to gun owners, testament to shooters. It really is. And we all know that because we're kind of the inside. We are shooters and we know that some of the best people we meet our shooters and gun owners. And I, I've had a lot of different, uh, even though I teach and you know that now, I've, I've had other professions. I've worked in traveling and publishing and some different things. And I've met a lot of people and I've spent a lot of time, in fact, uh, daily having discussions with some really highly educated people, about as high as you can get. And But you know, I enjoy just sitting around chatting with shooters as much as anything, more than anything, really. Shooters tend to just be really good people, realistic people, patriotic people. So enough on that. Speaking of that, one thing I wanted to mention too, and hang in there, I'm not going to talk too long, but i got some important things to say about the parody uh, that we're, that's going on, some things I want to delay to you. If you're thinking about doing the parody, Hickok parody, or you already have, so a couple facts on that coming. But I wanted to mention, speaking of the quality uh, viewers and subscribers and comments and everything, uh, please be aware we have a lot of young viewers. Uh, some of you may not realize how many, uh, because perhaps someone just seems kind of, uh, I don't know, they seem uh, naive, I was going to say, or they seem to be a novice at shooting by the questions they ask. Well, I tell you, lots of times I'll click to their channel really quickly, or, or I'll get private messages from them, and they'll tell me how old they are. And I get a lot of messages from people 14 and 11 and 16, and they have questions about firearms and things, and, uh, and I try to defer them to their parents, but give them answer their questions. Sometimes there are, there's not a parent involved, you know, and especially in terms of firearms interests. So I do the best I can with that. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about that is to you young people, and there are a lot of you that watch the videos. I don't know how many of you watch the vlogs. You probably think they're going to be pretty boring, and maybe they are. But uh, really uh, try, to, try to represent shooters in a, in a uh, positive way as you grow up and you get into the shooting sports and you uh, attend shooting ranges, participating you know, in this great activity. Be safe as you possibly can. Exaggerate safety, I encourage you. 
and uh, ask a lot of questions and just be a good representative of, of shooters because most people are. You know, thugs and all those people, that's all another matter. Uh, but most shooters are just good folks. Uh, that's why in Tennessee, for example, with 300,000 permit holders, there's virtually no abuse of that. You know, virtually none. It's just people who are law-abiding citizens and enjoy firearms uh, overwhelmingly are just good folks. You want to be one of those people, okay? And my older viewers, a lot of the young people and then also people in other countries where there's more restrictive gun laws, you know, they, they are really into the video games and they, uh, they, they love the guns that are in the video games. They're into airsoft. Uh, and sometimes some of the comments seem pretty uh, immature and, and juvenile, granted, uh, that come from that area, perhaps. But, but these are folks interested in firearms and maybe they're being introduced to them through video games and through airsoft, uh, whatever it is. Uh, let's try not to, to discourage that and to make fun of them, right? I mean, they're, you know, that may be their only choice right now. And we need all the shooters we can get and uh, that's great. It really is a positive thing. Uh, because there are some very realistic video games. I don't really play them. Uh, John had a couple that I was just amazed with the realism. And that's where some of the young people are getting introduced to the Garand, the M1 Garand, the M1 Carbine, the old 1911s. It's really neat. So, so we don't want to discourage that. Uh, we should be happy about that. So, so let's do all we can to help them, uh, even if they do ask a silly question occasionally. All right. So anyway, a couple things I wanted to mention. To the parody now. Uh, thanks for the submissions. There's 13 or 14 submissions, and they're all pretty interesting. And uh, you young folks that submitted, that's great. Appreciate that. And some of you older folks, we, we got some good ones on there, no doubt about it. It's going to be tough to, to make some decisions there. So we're looking at comments and what you all think about them. A couple of things. Again, make certain that uh, you don't have anything copyrighted on there, you know, music, anything like that, or the videos borrowed in your video, and there's little or none of that that I've seen, maybe one instance of it. Uh, just just be aware of that, because we're going to take the winner, you know, and we're going to paste it, you know, into a Hickok 45 video. And so while you might have permission, you know, we don't, you know, so just be aware of that, uh, and that'll go up as a video, as, as I said, one of our videos, uh, announcing the winner. And along those lines, uh, you, if you think you're going to be in the running at all, uh, maybe you just want to do it anyway, but save your video, if you will, to a CD, not a DVD. I mean, don't make a DVD out of it. We're not going to, we don't want it to play on DVD. We just need the file. We need it on a CD so that we can have that file so that we can edit it and uh, patch it into the, the announcement uh, you know, video that we're going to make. So John will put, edit that in. And so, again, your video will be part of a Hickok 45 video, the announcement video, all right? Uh, and we have given everybody permission, of course, just by merit of the contest to, to make fun of me to a certain extent, to mock me and to copy things that we've done and everything. With that permission, we would rather you not change the name of the video now or you know, after the contest is over, of course. Uh, it's all part of the, uh, the contest here. And we'll, we'll keep them uh, attached to this video indefinitely I guess so uh, so just keep that in mind uh, keep if you will keep it the same name you know the Hickok parody you know 45 parody and everything and you know a lot of people hopefully will see it as time moves on and uh, what else was there about that I wanted to say oh yeah even after this is over uh, if you think you'd still like to do one of those we'll, uh, we'll allow you to do that we'll talk more about that later but probably we'll let you attach that to the uh, We'll cut off the attachments to the uh, to the current video, the one that's called Hickok 45 Contest, and we'll let you attach one to the, the announcement, probably, video. So we'll let you know, but uh, we don't want to end it. If you get a whim to, to make fun of me and try to copy something we do, that's fine. So we'll, we'll talk to you more about that in the future. Uh, remember, the deadline is July the 22nd, uh, exactly one month from the date of uh, posting the announcement video that we, we did. So just be aware of that. And uh, things are going well. Again, we appreciate the views. And, uh, and uh, oh, one thing I did forget to mention, uh, John saved the pic when we were making the first video with uh, Steve Lee, uh, the very first time he visited the, the compound. Uh, he left a, the pic he was playing guitar with out there on the shooting table. It's a 
we've got that thing set aside. We're going to just include that with this goofy hat, you know, and if we think of something else, we'll give that to the winner too. So I don't know if that's in a big prize to you either, just like the hat, but we'll, that, we'll package that with it, the, the pick he used in that video. And uh, maybe we'll include this clot of dirt if you're really good. How's that? You know, we've got some great prizes, don't we? Uh, the real award is in knowing you won and having put together something phenomenal. And there's some good ones out there if you've seen them. I hope everybody that sees this V-Log uh, looks at those. Okay, remember they're attached to the Hickok 45 contest video. It's not that old. It's about six or eight uploads back. Now I'll feature it from time to time just to keep it alive until the 22nd. Okay, you notice I have something out here. I can't have a V-Log unless I'm at a national park, right, like uh, Fort Donaldson. By the way, that's where we were in D-Log 14, Fort Donaldson, a great place. I mentioned in there something about the eagles. There was in that video an eagle, a real one now, bald eagle. It flew not far from me through the, through the air there. Of course, that's where you normally fly, through the air. But it was flying from tree to tree as I was doing that V-Log. And I really think those were the eagles making the sound. So it's a really neat place in uh, Dover, Tennessee, if you're ever up that way. It's one of my favorite uh, battlegrounds. Uh, battlefields. So, no look vlog is complete without a little gunfire. We got the old stagecoach shotgun out here in 12 gauge. The very same gun, I think, yes, that I used to kill that giant pumpkin. What was that video called? The uh, pumpkin shoot or pumpkin kill or something. Hopefully you've seen that. Hopefully you have gone back and seen videos that you might have missed. Okay. in the fire. No videos complete without a little gunfire, right? So anyway, again, we appreciate uh, your all support and for helping us put together and continue a quality channel with hopefully some good information, some fun, and uh, a channel that people of any age can enjoy going into, you know, and, and watching the videos. So, uh, that's all I have to say about that, and life is very good.